آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول The religion of the modernists in Murgia in Munafiqeen makes no sense on any level it's contradictory on all levels because it's a western wala and bara they have a wala and bara true yes they do but it's the type that's made in the west it's not the wala and bara that's revealed from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the bara from a kafir is a heart action and what it entails it's fitra it's fitra that stems from one's iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the ta'zeem of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's only in one whose fitrah hasn't been tainted. They say maybe he's ignorant. How do you despise them when he's ignorant? Many ways and lectures can be put on responding to this tiny little claim of theirs. But let's respond to it from their own words. They themselves, same, they're the same people who say, you only hate a kafir who fights the Muslims and kills their kids. We'll say, maybe that kafir, that harbi kafir who's fighting Muslims, maybe he's ignorant too. Why don't you say the same about him? Maybe he wasn't taught. Maybe he's brainwashed. And that's why he's killing Muslims. Maybe he grew up in a household hating Islam. So why do you excuse him for ignorance when it's abused to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? But when it's, ab when it's abused to you, you want the full bara'a there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ha antum ula'i tuhibbunahum wa la yuhibbunakum wa tu'minuna bil kitabi kulli wa idha laqukum qalu amanna wa idha khalaw addu alaykum al anamila min al ghayd. You love them? But they don't love you. You believe in all the scriptures? They don't. When they meet you, they say we believe. But when they're alone, they bite their fingertips and rage at you. In summary, the meaning of this verse is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is re reprimanding some believers for loving their former Jewish friends from the days of Jahiliyyah, before their Islam. Even though they gave the appearance that they were peaceful. At-Tabari said the verse was talking about believers who mixed with the Jews who were their jahiliya friends prior to Islam. So peaceful, they said or gave an appearance that they're believers. وَإِذَا لَقُوكُمْ قَالُوا آمَنَّا Al-Qurtubi said, the majority said that the verse pertains to the Jews. Listen to this astonishing statement on wala and bara by someone who lived among the kuffar in Al Habasha. And it applies to everyone, but more specific to those who live among the kuffar and lose their wala and bara, especially those in the West. The one who said the statement was treated with royalty in Al Habasha, not like they treat us here. Scrutiny, raids, prisons, trumped up charges, women mocked for their niqab, beaten and abused. She was responded to something Umar radiallahu an said. Asma bint Umais had a discussion with Umar radiallahu an. It's a long hadith. We'll take the matter that the, the sentences that pertain to us. It's in Bukhari and Muslim. She said. كُنْتُمْ مَعَ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمْ يُطْعِمُ جَائِعَكُمْ وَيَعِذُ جَاهِلَكُمْ وَكُنَّا فِي دَارِ أَوْ فِي أَرْضِ الْبُعَدَاءِ الْبُغَضَاءِ فِي الْحَبَشَةِ فِي أَرْضِ الْبُعَدَاءِ الْبُغَضَاءِ فِي الْحَبَشَةِ You were here with the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم who fed the hungry and taught the ignorant ones. We were over there in the land, al buada the far distant land, which is by some ulama, it means distant in lineage. She was referring to Al-Habasha, Abyssinia. al buhada 
The lands of the people hated. Hated? Why? Because no matter what they did, they're still kuffar. The ulama said, Al-Bughada fi al-deen li-annahum kuffar illa al-Najashi. They took her in. They took the Muslims in. They treated them with respect and protected them. They would have surrendered them. Yet she still referred to them as the people hated, meaning the people we hate. The deed in Tawheed remains a barrier no matter what good they do. Learn from Asma radiallahu anha and learn from Umar who was having a discussion with her on another issue. But he didn't come back and respond to her and say, how dare you say that about the people who took you in? If she was wrong, he would have responded. What she said was clear and obvious truth to a muwahid. Taking us in or kicking us out, treating us good or treating us bad, abusing us or not, the bara'a remains intact and the same. In the 28th volume of Fatawa ibn Taymiyyah said, you must have wala to a Muslim even if he oppresses you and transgresses against you. And you must have mu'ada, bara'a from a kafir even if he is good to you and gives you. وَلْيُعْلَمْ أَنَّ الْمُؤْمِنِ تَجِبُ مُوَالَاتُهُ وَإِنْ ظَلَمَكَ وَاعْتَدَى عَلَيْكَ وَالْكَافِرُ تَجِبُ مُعَادَاتُهُ وَإِنْ أَعْطَاكَ وَأَحْسَنَ إِلَيْكَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى بَعَثَ الرُّسُلْ وَأَنْزَلَ الْكُتُبُ لِيَكُونَ الدِّينُ كُلُّهُ لِلَّهِ فَيَكُونُ الْحُبُّ لِأَوْلِيَائِهِ وَالْبُغْضُ لِأَعْدَائِهِ والإكرام لأوليائه والإهانة لأعدائه والثواب لأوليائه والعقاب لأعدائه يا الشفيعي وملك وبحنيفة ثم أحمد ينقلوا فإن اتبعت سبيلهم فموفق